start the public participation session of the meeting. Please come to the mic, state your name, address, and you have three minutes. Address you, not them.
but it's each, each side that seems to get all the protection. And so in that we're in a new year, uh, I'm asking that the council would really take a look and be committed at improving the west side, the lifestyle, the whole nine yards. We're talking about a park. We need more than a park. All the stores and the restaurants are on the east side. There's nothing but fields on the west side. No houses or anything of that nature. You're not talking about putting up any stores or restaurants. You're redeveloping Springwood Avenue that used to be the backbone and the lifeblood of the west side with parks. And so I'd like to get an answer to Cameron. That substation that seems to be there all the time. You talk about the substation on the east side on Main Street. And this one is vacant every single day. Thank you. Chief, Chief, would you like to address the substation, please? Sure. Well, first of all, there is no substation on the east side of town. Um, with that building. I don't know what you're talking about, but there's no right, substation on the east side. Right next to that new building, that single citizen building. Right? West side. On the west side. Oh, the west side. yeah, that was in the front. Uh, excuse me. Well, Could you come to the mic, please, and respond to that? We do have a substation on the west side of town. There is no substation on the east side. When we were getting ready to occupy the substation in the senior building, we made it clear that that was not going to be uh, a location where officers were going to be there, 9 to 5, 8 to 4, or 4 to 2 in, uh, at night, where they would occupy that office space um, continuously. That is used, however, by our parking officers, our special officers, as well as the United <coughs> States Marshal Service that I arranged to come to town and use that space. They bring with them many resources. They bring with them a lot of personnel. <coughs> They're in the building, they're out of the building, on our streets where we want them, but they do occupy the building. Um, the other... Cameras. Cameras. And right now... I, I will address the camera issue, okay? Sure. Yes, Mayor. For the past four months, uh, let's see, uh, Mr. Nuccio, <laughs> Tried city manager, uh, acting city manager, Nuccio, myself, the Asbury Park Housing Authority, um, the police department, um, let's see, um, <coughs> Senator Beck, we have met on an ongoing basis. Oh, I'm sorry, and Councilman Moore, Councilman Moore. And the Monmouth County Prosecutor's Office. Monmouth County Prosecutor's Office. And the Chief Staff. And the Chief, right, the Chief Staff. So we, we have all met on an ongoing basis, and there was a, a grant that Senator Beck was able to get from the city to repair the cameras in the housing authority. And I made a statement, I said, I cannot sign off if we as citizens pay taxes that go into the federal government, and then they come back and put cameras simply in the housing authority area. I said, I, I can see we have an even distribution of cameras in all high crime areas, whether it be on the west side or whether it be on some other sides where the police department has identified as high crime areas. And so we are working, number one, on the housing authority, which is phase one, and then number two, it will be the high crime areas, and the west side certainly falls into that category. So you can uh, look forward to saying that. And the chief would like to add to that. Mayor, if I may, just uh, right now we have 22 cameras that are located throughout the city. Of those cameras, there are six that are east of uh, Main Street. The remainder of those cameras are on the west side. Um, okay, let's see the third question. I think it has something to do with redevelopment. And I'm going to let the councilman um, Lefredo talk about that. We have, um, we were just at a meeting today, the mayor and I, 
for the Springwood Avenue redevelopment. Uh, this plan has been worked on. It was worked on for over two years. Initially, it was uh, Councilman Sanders and myself who were working on the plan. So when we set the plan, we had five developers come forward. Uh, three have been approved, two have been approved. And the project is actually um, been, we've received the plans. They are moving forward. The meeting today was about them moving forward in conjunction with the Housing Authority. It was also Michael's group and uh, Interfaith Neighbors. Uh, this should be online soon. We just have to, we just have to uh, work out some things with some property uh, as far as swapping and getting everything going. But there is a plan that's approved. And quite frankly, the center that's going to be built on Springwood Avenue is a, it's a park center, it's a museum. It is absolutely, I mean, the building itself is absolutely beautiful. Actually, it has been presented uh, to the, to the uh, council before. It was presented on the well, Maybe we should bring it back so everybody can take a look at it. But we are moving forward with the plans to redevelop uh, Springwood Avenue. Thank you. There's a picture of there. Next. Jennifer Lambert, um, happy to be a new resident at I-22 Dealer Drive, and hoping to be a business owner of the Asbury Fest Home Beer Garden at 527 Lake Drive. Um, I'm going to ask a question first, and then I have really organized my thoughts. <laughs> I was under the impression from Don Samet that you were going to discuss at your executive committee meeting today the sewer tap fee issue, and I was wondering if that was discussed. Okay, so I'd just like to give you my thoughts on behalf of myself and my partner on this issue because it's very obviously important to us. And so I unfortunately am not here this evening on happy matters. I'm here regarding the denial of permits to begin construction on the Asbury Fest Hall and Beer Garden, beer garden until we pay an outrageous sewer tap fee of what we've been told is approximately $400,000. We are shocked and astonished that after nine months of working with the city, we come to find out that we are expected to pay this unreasonable, exorbitant sewer connection fee. We want to be a partner with the city of Asbury Park, not an advocate against it. We work with the city manager, city council, planning board, and zoning office for at least nine months without a mention of a $400,000 fee. We were given approvals on demolition permits without mention of a $400,000 fee kind of makes a new business feel as if it's been taken for a ride. First and foremost, we cannot afford even an eighth of that fee. We are a small business. Uh, what kind of small business do you think can afford this kind of a fee? And if you were a small business owner, <coughs> would you even consider it? Or would you just choose another city? By imposing such fees, you are absolutely destroying development. You are going to have empty buildings. What you are doing is putting the heaviest financial burden on the projects that are in the most in need. You're putting the heaviest burden on projects that are the costliest to renovate and occupy. We will be paying taxes. We will be paying quarterly sewer fees and monthly usage fees. So we just don't understand where this exorbitant fee comes from. The government is supposed to foster development. What you are doing is impeding development with this fee. Vacant buildings equal more crime or graffiti. Taking a vacant building and restoring it means jobs, tax revenue, parking revenue. Life comes to the downtown central business district. Lastly, it's beyond frustrating how it's been handled. Our permits for our windows, just our windows, were handed on in on December 10th. We did not get a written denial at all, just a verbal, we won't even look at this until the sewer tap feed, and then the $400,000 fee was just kind of thrown at us as an aside. We've not received anything in writing, no bill, no invoice, no anything in regards to this. And I know you are working on sorting this out because there seems to be a lot of confusion. But it's been over two weeks now. We're into the third week. And our project is stopped. We Thank cannot you. move forward. Thank you. Bernard Dorsey, at my residence in Long Branch, so I have a lot of property in Ashburn. I am the gentleman that's been calling for the last two months, where is my menorah? I don't see any menorahs in here, thank God. 
but I don't see where it is. I've talked to this man, Stephen K. Stephen. Stephen. Excuse me. Went out with him in the Greek. I uh, talked to this gentleman, Profeto. I talked to Nuccio. I've tried to talk to both of these, never got an answer. And uh, we had the menorah up uh, a few years ago. And then uh, last year, they took it down in the middle of Hanukkah, which is now Thanksgiving this year. And uh, I don't get any answers from the attorney, from the city manager. Mr. K was supposed to call me back. He was the only one that said hello to me. <laughs> All your people never talked. And I would just like to hear the council, like you made everybody else. Give me an idea of what's going on. First of all, I'd like to say hello. Hello. And, uh, I am glad to meet all you nice new council people. Um, Except for Mr. Fellow, I know he is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is there any response? Do we know anything about that? Where is it? It used to be in Sunset Park. It's the first time we're hearing about it, sir. Really? Yes. And uh, nobody in the, uh, oh, well, what's the difference? Nobody, uh, first time you're hearing about it. Uh, last year, it did come down. All right. Uh, For what reason? We were challenged by the American Civil Liberties, all right, about the menorah last year. All right, and that's why it had come down. All right, we were one of the ones that were, all right, every year apparently, all right, there are different towns that are singled out for some of their all right, decorations, all right, their holiday decorations. Last year we had received a notice all right, from American Civil Liberties about it. I mean, I'll go back and, and see what I can find out about it. I, I remember the incident. How quickly could you please do that? Because I know there are probably a lot of people that are interested as to the American Civil Liberties may have written. Do you have any documentation? Uh, excuse me, sir. Excuse, excuse me. Yep, yeah, your three minutes are up. We have to move on. You might want to take it offline tomorrow. Offline. Okay. I don't use the computer. Thank you. <laughs> Good evening and Happy New Year. I'm Reverend John Bradley, Mr. Elias, and also now the Vice President of the Community Center. I have a many things, but I, I understand now. My three minutes is going to go by fast. I heard about the, re the redevelopment, and, and I'm concerned about that because I hear some modifications being done, which has never been brought to the public. And now we would like to know what kind of things have been modified. I hear about that because we were heavily involved, and Mr. Lawrence was heavily involved during the redevelopment of meetings. Now we understand that some, there's some things been changed, some more money is coming down. Why hasn't the public been notified to have some participation in anything? We would like to know the answer to that. And, what, and the community wants to know, how are you going forward with that, without that participation? The other thing I hear about the cameras. The uh, cameras, uh, it's good to put cameras out there, but who's going to operate them? Who's going to maintain them? What kind of results do you expect to get out of them? Are they, we got cameras out there now, but how many arrests have been made because of our cameras? Do we publicize that we, those cameras are, are, being, are the cause of so many arrests being made? Are the cameras in front of all these convenience stores out there? Are there bartering going on and drugs are being sold? Are uh, the arrests being done? I, mean, I don't think so. Maybe it's when I'm not looking. I've done it quite often on Springwood Avenue. You probably see me now once a day, maybe more. The other thing that I, I'm concerned about is some of the things that's going on in the administration. And primarily, we're talking about the CDBG grants. My understanding that the estimated amount of funding to be received from HUD is four hundred and twenty-seven thousand one hundred forty-four dollars. We submitted from the city. For approval of $554,000, which represents some 
$126,000 over and above what you expect to get. And I also understand that uh, who's supposed to be submitting this grant? Why are they going over? Because uh, in the 2014 annual action plan, there's a line item of $50,000 to an outside agency, agency to complete the city of Asbury five-year consolidated plan. The amount to hire an outside agency combined, combined with the $77,000 uh, included for administration in this plan violates the 20% funding gap for HUD guidelines. I don't know how we're going to explain that. Uh, I, I, okay, I no, no more time. I've got many more things, and I, I, I would like to have ambition to make a, a, an arrangement to have a meeting with some people of the city council. So we discuss as many items that we have that we are very much concerned about. Okay, we'll make sure that that happens. Thank you. And just so people know, the Springwood Avenue plan hasn't changed, but it's still the plan that the Springwood Avenue plan came up with. Just a matter of who's going to be doing the building. That's what the discussion is about, and where it's going to be, and uh, what the timelines are going to be for that. Thank you. Thank you. I think we have the same snowstorm as everybody else. I mean, my street, 8th Avenue, was terrible. I saw one truck go down, and it had been shoveled up. It didn't have it down. It looked like they were packing the snow down in the street. I thought it was terrible. I mean, if they can't do a better job, this has been going on for years anyway. It's not, this is not the first year. I think you should privatize that. I mean, you have to do something. You can't go over to Ocean Township and see Blacktop and Asbury Park be the way it is. It's, it's not right. Everybody's talking about it. Bradley Beach was clean. Allenhurst was clean. We're the only ones that weren't clean. Now, are we any different than anybody else? Maybe you should get a plan like you have for street cleaning, where the alternate side of the street parking takes place so they can clean for the curb. So we don't have to clean on driveways. Every hour or two when they shovel you in again. I mean, you got to do something. It's not right for the people. And on Pine Street, where everybody's talking about, I thought that was remedied. I thought they spent the hundred and something thousand dollars from Sue Henderson's house down to the bridge. They all got new curbing. It was a, a, what do you call those things? It looks like a sewer by your house there. I mean, like, but why is there ice again? What is going on there? We paid all that money, and then we have the same problem again? There's something wrong here. You have to remedy the snow removal. It's a disgrace. You can have, well, you can have a plan. Well, it's inside street parking like you do when you clean the street. You got to do it. You got to do it soon. You can't just keep putting these things off. And the other thing I wanted to talk about was uh, in the community block <coughs> grant with the library. I guess you're going to use some of the money for the library there. Why don't you try to get the county to take over the library? They do a wonderful job. Go look at Ocean Township and see what a beautiful library they have. We have a beautiful building. They, they might want to take it over, and there'll be one less burden for, for the taxpayers in this city. You have to do things like that. You have to start privatizing. You can't continue this. Thank you, Arthur. Can I, can I just say that... Uh, well, hell's freezing over because I agree with some of the things we're doing. I said 
on agreeing with some of what you're saying there, either. So, one of the things is, um, the, the water, where you're talking about, the homeowner keeps moving the pipe. You're right. The money was spent, it was taken care of, but for some reason they keep detaching it and rerouting the water. And we just discussed today that they're going to be given a notice that they have to stop doing that. Um, the library has to be put to a public vote, and I see no reason why it shouldn't go into the county system, personally. But that would have, we can't just do it. We have to put it on a, a ballot to be voted on. I think it would be great. I'm just, I'm just, I don't know, I'm just saying. And then uh, the, the street sweeping was also spoken about in our executive. And, uh, in so what's today's date, the 8th? Pardon me? Oh, I want to know what day you agreed with me. <laughs> <laughs>
the amount of twenty-one thousand fifty-three dollars and thirty-eight cents. Move it. Move it. Councilmember Yes. Or yes. Quinn. Yes. Mayor Anderson. Yes. Mayor. Yes. A resolution for a temporary budget until the regular budget is adopted. Uh, nine. Uh, temporary budget nine million two hundred twenty-six thousand. $50 for the general fund, $1,373,200 for the historic facility operating fund, $145,150 for the beach utility fund, and $212,882 for the parking utility operating fund, 2014. Move it. Second. Councilman Yes. More. Yes. Quinn. Yes. And Mayor Henderson. Yes. Mayor Camp. Yes. Move it. 
Second. Councilmember Bufredo. Yes. Moore. Yes. Wayne. Yes. Mayor Henderson. Yes. Mayor Campbell. Yes. And we got uh, Public hearings to be held at the 
the time on the ordinance reappropriating $353,690.48 proceeds. Obligations not, not needed for the original purpose in order to provide for installation of a camera system in by the city of Asbury Park, Palm County, New Jersey. The motion will be on. Moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Anyone like to be heard on this uh, ordinance, Rita? Yeah. What is it about? How <laughs> about explaining it? On this year, all right, we had uh, bonded. All right, we have a balance in that bond of $353,692.48. What we want to do is reallocate that bonding to all right, the purchase of the cameras. All right. What was it for? It was originally all right, put towards the senior center for the Springwood Center. Or it was bonded for the Springwood Center. And that's a balance that's left in that bond that wasn't used towards the building of the Springwood Center. Mm -hmm. So we want to reallocate it towards that purchase of the cameras at this point. And that's how much the cameras cost? It's going to be approximately that amount. And we're also refurbishing cameras. We're too. refurbishing cameras as well. No, mm -hmm. it's more than that. Well, it's more than that, actually. It's, it's, it's close to $539,000. So how long is that oh, bond for? How many years is that? I don't have that in here. That I'll have to find out. I don't come to the company. Mm -hmm. You don't have the years? But, I don't have it on here, now. Okay, so they didn't use that money in the senior center? And no. You didn't use it for cameras. Mm -hmm. well, you should know how many years. No? My oversight on this one, Rita. Huh? My oversight on this one. Okay, I accept. Motion to close. Move to close. Second. All favor? Aye. Motion to adopt the ordinance. Move it. Second. Thank you, Mr. Fredo. Yes. 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 Mayor Henderson? Yes. Mayor Kemp? Yes. Um, the decision on the bid, the RCA project at 1218 Summit Hill Avenue. Uh, the owner has chosen the Low Bear Ampy Corporation. The amount of $20,182. Move it. Second. I'm going to Fredo. Yes. Four. Yes. Twins. Yes. Mr. Henderson? Yes. Mayor Kemp? Yes. Thank you. As outlined by the city engineer with respect to the bids for the uh, boardwalk improvements, he's recommending that the bid be awarded to Rycon Group LLC for an amount of $3,525,640. The motion to accept that bid. Move it. Second. Councilman Fredo. Yes. Moore. No. Quinn. I feel like it's an asterisk. Yes. Deputy Mayor Henderson? Yes. Mayor Cam? Yes. Just, just out of curiosity, I feel like everybody knows what they just voted on. Absolutely. You didn't vote on the pile, you voted on the one that we made like every fund of us. Okay. Okay. I think I covered it all for any motion. No, wait a second. Did you? Yeah, we're going to prepare the last one. So, the board will prepare the last one, isn't it? By the way, just did. So, but, uh, no, I'm, I'm sorry. So, I, I don't know. So many revisions I've lost. So, the collection of the liquid in this small court box was taken off. Correct. Correct. Yes. What's that going to be done? We should have that ready for uh, recommendation of a word at the next meeting. Okay. Move to close. Second. All favor? Aye. 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 A